In this video series, we're continuing our examination of uh, circuit dynamics and of bandwidth estimation in particular. We're trying to pick up where we left off, which was estimating the bandwidth either by finding a full transfer function, which was really clunky, or by using the Miller approximation, which, though very good for intuition, wasn't as accurate as we'd like. So we're going to go back to basics by making a model of the dynamics of our midband region, a transfer function that's kind of generic and we can apply to a lot of amplifiers. And then we're going to um, use some really cool circuit tricks to pick out important features of that model. The circuit tricks are called open circuit time constants. Um, and they have a lot of really cool properties. Um, they help us make bandwidth estimates that are conservative. And the most important property is that they let us identify which capacitor in a circuit is causing a problem. So they grant us intuition into how the circuit works. Uh, which is one of the most important things for a designer because if you just want to know exactly where the dynamics uh, turned on or off, you could ask a computer. If you want to know how to change them, you have to have intuition. Uh, open circuit time constants are a great tool to build that. We'll be learning about them today. And then we'll um, uh, wrap up dynamics in our next video series by applying them to a couple more circuits and learning about a few tricks.